Hey, what's up, y'all? I don't know what is going on, but I'm about to go to my gate and take some CBD oil in the car. How y'all doing? Good seeing y'all, man. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I'm I'm on the bright side. Uh, uh, 9/11. Man, gone. <laughs> don't start. Don't start. How you doing, man? Good seeing y'all. Don't start, no. <laughs> Good seeing y'all, man. God bless y'all. Yes, sir. Uh, my um, my anxiety is is through the roof. I feel like my heart racing, heart racing real bad. Can't. Uh, no, sir, you didn't speak, sir. You got your phone out. You finna stick your phone in my face. And we're not finna I'm take gone. no pictures in this airport this early in the morning. And all black people gonna stop asking for a picture without speaking and introducing themselves. You are, you How are you? I'm good. I'm my name is Ricky Smart. Thank you. That's what you're supposed to say first. We have, a, we have lost the art of exchanging Pleasantries. Right? Pleasantry. Wait a minute. Just, I just had my bag. It, 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 it's right here, right here. It just rolled on over. I'm bro. like, ma'am, can it. somebody call security? Y'all trying to steal my bag. How you doing? How you doing, man? How are you? How are you? See you. How you doing, brother? Pretty good. Good yeah, seeing you. Right. Nice meeting y'all. You too. Thank you. Let me check everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nice meeting. What's going off on me and I ain't about oh, to no, lose no. your back? No, I, I correct everybody. I don't let people ask for a no, picture and don't stick to me. I follow you. Because you correct it. I'm a human and not a thing to take pictures with. I try to be become the grandfather that you are. Come on. You going to do it. You I, I, I follow you. Good morning. How you doing, my love? You see what she did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one with you. We're going to go in the store. How you doing? How you just messed it up? It's bad. <laughs> see, see, hey, see? She gave me a hug. You see? <laughs> My you favorite. See, you my uh, favorite. <laughs> you see how she did? She did it right. Yeah. So come on to him and take this damn picture with you. Since you're trying to be a grandfather. Yeah, man. No, no. You doing it right. I be trying, man. You are great. I love I correct. I correct everyone. You have to. You know our sixth grade teachers, man. They used to, they make you exchange pleasantry. This generation get they so microwave they don't take the time to acknowledge the person. Just say hi. Yeah. I got you, brother. Yeah. Come on, put your phone out. There you go. And get your ass off. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, where you, where you going? I'm going to Colorado Springs. I sell cars, luxury cars in oh, Tulsa. You to be better go make some money, man. That's what I do now. Come on, man. I don't pre preach no more, so I gotta do something. Then <laughs> <laughs> the rain y'all the pulpit. bit. You probably walking up there not speaking to the congregation, <laughs> asking them for tithes and offerings straight on me. Don't say you don't give me that money. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Hey, good luck to hey, you, brother. You love, love, man. love you, man. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm real nice to people, but I make them speak. You have to speak. You have to say good morning. How are you? Cause that's the least. Now he was nice or whatever. You know, I just talk to trash. Then I take him off in the corner, take a picture with him. He was very nice. Correction. And uh, some people take the correction and say, you know what, you're right. And I'll be like, I love you. So here's your picture. Here you go, whatever you want. That's it, just a little, little lesson, because if I do it, I want somebody to correct me. If I do something like that, tell my black ass so I can do better. You know what I mean? So, he was cool. I love him. Hope I get to meet him again, because uh, he's a very successful person. But I'd be, I be correcting on the spot. It's uh, in a real nice and loving way. It wasn't like, get the hell away from me. Oh, man, my heart racing so bad. That hug that lady gave me, I needed it. I really needed that hug. Cause I'm just having some some anxiety this morning, man. My heart is racing. Like I'm about to have a heart attack. Like I need some water. I can't breathe. And just all that stuff is just weird and awkward. Walking through this airport and riding Southwest Airlines is like riding the bus, riding the Greyhound. Look at all these people. <laughs> Look at all the people going, going to Birmingham. 
I can go over there and look at every single person and tell you what part of Birmingham they live in just by the look in their eyes. <laughs> so, I'm trying to find somewhere to go and kind of find me a spot where I could be discreet. It ain't nowhere to sit. Man, this, man, this airport is so crowded. It's look like the health department. It's like the health department in, in college. When you got your first S STD in the, in the ninth grade. Not, no, not the ninth grade, about the 12th grade. But, somewhere to sit where I can calm my nerve. I, got, I think I got some CBD oil. I think I got some CBD oil. And I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go in and take it. Looking for a ride up from a taxi. I'm gonna be like that damn girl. To Head to the that girl on uh, on the internet. When she be saying, calm down, Bria. Stand my ass right over here. Post up, post up in this corner. Uh, y'all laughing at me? Thank y'all for watching this video. All right, y'all. It is packed in here on the way. Everybody going this early in the morning with the day Monday. Yeah. Sit my ass over here in this wheelchair. Randy Savage, what up? with time Birmingham star boy. Huh? You know what? I just deal with it. It ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal. Man, people be excited or whatever, but I, I still make them speak. You know what I'm saying? You have to say hello. You have to introduce yourself. You have to say at least hi. You know, a sentence with me don't start with can I get just can I get it, it, it got to be something before can I get it? I just correct it and once I correct it we end up shaking hands and most of the time when they real nice I end up giving them the picture anyway especially if it's not especially if it's not a lot of people around there's not a lot of people around and I don't have to take a bunch of pictures I'd be more than happy to do it but they just have to be be kind of quiet with it because I don't want to be, be standing standing up here in the middle of the airport taking pictures and drawing all that attention because, you know, every, every, everybody everybody don't like it. Some people, you know what I'm saying? That's why I like, I love discretion because it just comes with a lot. Because it's 50-50. Some people gonna be real nice and then you gonna get your jerks. But if don't nobody know you sitting up in here and you just chilling, then you just gonna decrease the amount of interactions. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you having some mental health challenges. Not mental health, but I'm having some real bad anxiety. I'm in a great mood though. I'm happy to be alive. But I'm, having, but I'm just having some real bad anxiety. Like my heart racing this morning. My anxiety has gotten bad. Like I was at church yesterday enjoying Pastor Hank's birthday and I had to get somebody to go get me some water. I just felt like I needed some water. Like I, I was un, uneasy and stuff. Maybe it's the coffee. So maybe I need to stop drinking coffee. Oh, my heart is racing. I feel like something wrong. I feel overly anxious. So, but I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be alive. At least I ain't in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching this. Y'all be good. Somebody said, uh, be safe in your travels. Somebody said, leave Morgan Freeman alone. Why you always messing with it? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop. Probably stop drinking coffee. I did. I had a, I had one pancake, some bacon. I had a little small bowl of grits and some strawberries. Uh, that's what I had. But um, somebody said I've been feeling like that this weekend. I don't know what it is. I love you too. Hey, thank you, Nita, for sharing that. Somebody said, I'm behind you. 
<laughs> Ma'am, you a lie. <laughs> Talk about I'm going to hide you. <laughs> All right, man. Thank y'all, man. Just pray for me, man. Just pray that my heart slow down a little bit. So I can feel my heart beating out my chest. I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. This stuff, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm worried about. Like I keep having, uh, thinking about my son a lot and uh, thinking about all the people that have lost kids and people that suffer. I'm thinking about everybody, everything, the weight of the world, all of that stuff. So just a lot, my mind just racing. All right, I love y'all so much. Yeah, take a deep breath. Yeah, I'm gonna go in here and probably buy me a bottle of water because I'm going through that. I need some water stage. Thank y'all for watching. It is crowded in this airport. It's like downtown New York. Look at this. They in here. I would wear a mask, but the mask be making me feel like I'm suffocating. So, I don't know. So, y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. I love you and there ain't nothing you can do about it.